Hope you're having a wonderful day today. I'm doing pretty good. Be gonna, gonna be doing another store tour live here at Atlanta Brick Co. And most of you know what the deal is, but for those who are new, I'll explain it really quick. I walk around the store with our device here. We film and we see all the awesome stuff we have for sale. We answer questions and we also, uh, if you have questions about inventory, I can answer those. So if you're looking for city sets or Star Wars sets or whatever you might be looking for, we can check and see if we got it for you. And uh, in the description, you'll find links to our website um, and also our phone number so you can call if you're interested in any of the items that you see. Um, and feel free to chat with all the wonderful people here that like to watch these and discuss all the wonderful things we have. We got T Valkyrie, Gary, Jonathan Miller, a bunch of our good friends here. Good to see everybody. I think Geology Joe was here a minute ago too. Yep, there we go. Jerry Houston here in the chat too. Dr. Jaja, good to see you. How's school doing? Well, it looks like everyone's doing pretty good. We got a bunch of stuff to go over today for sure. Want to show off the brickheads. We got some Lord of the Rings. Got some Indiana Jones. Everybody asks about Indiana Jones, and we finally have some to show you guys. So we'll head over there and check it out. My department chair is named Jonathan Miller. Oh, <laughs> well, both Jonathan and Miller aren't like uncommon names, so that makes sense. But yeah, good to see everybody. How much is that Technic tractor you just passed? Uh oh, let's go find the Technic tractor. Hold on. Professor Joe of Geology, there you go, I like it. Technic Tractor, Technic Tractor. I think I see it right here, Gary, hold on. There it is, let me get the box out, there you go. The Kloss Exerion. Xerion? Exerion? That's cool. Let's see, the price tag, $329, $329. Not a cheap set, but I can kind of see why. You got uh, that big power functions logo and that just adds about 150 dollars right there which is crazy but yeah there you go gary if you're interested let us know um somebody was commenting uh mark did you hear about lego lord of the rings i certainly did and i'm very excited however it's it's minimal stuff so far we have some brick heads which are great and we have one direct to consumer set which is kind of like a big cool set uh looked like it was going to be in the 500 hundred dollar range maybe more and so that's really cool, but I mean, I would love to see some 20 and 40 and $50 sets too, you know what I'm saying? So we'll see, hopefully they keep doing more. Hopefully the tremendous demand for Lord of the Rings stuff translates to sales for Lego and they realize, oh wow, we should make more Lord of the Rings, we'll see. Hey Grumpy, yes, I'm the absent-minded professor. <laughs> there you go, Geology Joe. Well, we are not absent from here or our, our appreciation, so we appreciate you guys. Let's see. So if you write power functions on my boxes, they'll be worth more? I mean, probably, honestly. Uh, power functions are just super collectible right now. Oh, somebody organized the Marvel sets. They look really nice. Very cool. I like that Baby Groot set. That's a fun set. Mark, y'all should do a Nexi. I have to respell that for me, Will M. Good to see you, Will M. Aris says, uh, any new Harry Potter? Let's go look at Harry Potter really quick. That's a good uh, good question. Oh, and uh, Dr. Jojo says, what does direct-to-consumer mean? I'm not 100% sure. Joe, do you know anything what that means? Direct-to-consumer? Yeah, for like a Lego Lord of the Rings so, set. That would be something that only Lego.com or Lego stores would sell. Yeah, so Lego Target, store exclusive. Walmart, you're not getting it there. Kind of like a big castle, for example, like an 90th anniversary castle. So. Direct to consumer, and like, you, if you look on Amazon or something, they're not going to have it for retail price. Gotcha. Well, yeah, they, they might have it aftermarket, but yeah. Interesting. Good to know. Dr. Jaja was so, asking about it. So. I heard you say you liked the baby Groot, and yes. I was moving some of my sets, mm -hmm. and uh, he tried to escape. <laughs> That's adorable. He's, that is so cute. He's, he's very poseable. Get, I know. He's trying to get away. He was just climbing out of the box. That's awesome. I need to get that set now. They're, they have it at uh, Costco with a good deal. Oh, look. He boobed Grogu. He boobed Grogu. Boop. That's so hilarious. I was having too much fun with him. Yep. Well, thanks, Joe. That's hilarious. So buy the set. Let's go look at uh, Harry Potter here, see if we can get a view. So there's some Quidditch matches. There's a Harry Potter advent calendar here. You got the mosaics. You got some lighting kits. You got a bunch of Harry Potter sets and decorations back there, too. I love these uh, Book of Monsters, very cool. Kind of Nexo Knight-esque, not gonna lie. Which should probably make several people in the chat excited. 
You got the hand wing. Ooh, I like this. The book sets are always very entertaining to see. I'm sure most Harry Potter fans will probably have all of these sets, but just in case we're going to go through. How much is the calendar? Good question. Let's go look at that really quick here. $59.99, which I think should be maybe a little above retail. I'm not sure. I haven't gotten an advent calendar in a while. They're not normally my go-to, but uh, let's see here. We've got this cool magical trunk as well. I'd really like this set, actually. It actually introduces a new skin tone for some of the figures, which I'm excited for, because Lego needs to make more diverse minifigures, I think. It's a, a little bit lacking in diversity right now for different scenes and people who want to build that kind of stuff, so. Got Astronomy Tower, you got the Privet Drive. You got the older Harry Potter sets up here. Hogwarts Castle, that's looking really nice. I love the Dementors from this line. And there's a very good Lord Voldemort with the nose. The only Lego minifigure with a nose is the one that actually doesn't have a nose in real life. So funny. Oh, this is nice too. I think this is fairly new. So you got the twins, the Weasley twins. You got, uh, that looks like a different house elf. He looks pretty grumpy. Pretty interesting. Yeah, tons of Harry Potter figures, built sets, all sorts of good stuff. Definitely cool. All right, let's see where the comments are at here. Uh, let's see. Mark, y'all should do a next to nice watch party like y'all did with Galador. Oh, we could, Will Lamb. That'd be uh, torture, but, you know, <laughs> we totally could. Uh, Geology Joe says, Ari. Ari Potter. Uh, that's him. How much is calendar? Got that one. Uh, drink, he said next one. Yep, yep, you could make this a game if you wanted to. You could, uh, you could take a sip of apple juice every time I say next or nights. That would be pretty funny. Matt NY says, hi, good to see you, Matt. Thanks for joining us. What Lego Trolls minifigures do you have for Lego Castle? We can go look at them. Um, Daniel was working on the Foresters earlier today. We'll have to see what he's gotten done over in the castle section here. After Harry Potter, maybe we look at Lord of the Rings. Ooh. That request is pretty early. Let's see here. Yeah, Morgan, says T Valkyrie. Love that. What was Morgan saying? Did I miss it? Oh, yeah. No, he's just saying, hey, Morgan, kind of thing. All right. Castle minifigs. Let's look at castle stuff really quick. And then Geology Joe said, I ordered the office set a few days ago. It's sold out already. Oh, man. I was thinking about that one, but I might have to wait now that it's uh, sold out. Yes, the Grumpy Elf is related to me. <laughs> the Flying Dutchman has a nose. Oh, good to know, Daniel, with the facts. Okay. Also got the gift with purchase. Yes, that uh, Castaway Island looks pretty cool. Uh, Raymond is here. Hello, Grumpy Jay. Are you still in Florida? I think Grumpy Jay lives in Florida, yeah. Um, any modulars? We'll check that out after we look at castle figures. Dad's Lego Cave, for sure. A storm cannot scare me away, says Grumpy Jay. There you go, Grumpy Jay. I, I hope you are all okay over there. Did everything go okay with Ian, Grumpy? Yes. New or used? We should have uh, a little bit of both, but we'll check on that in a moment. Uh, let's see. I saw a gunship in the latest haul. Is that available? I think it's still back there, because I was building a commission a little bit this morning, and I saw it back there, so I'm pretty sure it's not out for sale yet. But uh, let's see. It did Geo Joe. It hit far south of me. There you go. Nexus to Zach is here. Man, the comments are piling in, guys. I'll get to Castle Figures in a second. Raymond says, it is in the mid-70s here in Texas. That is nice. Nice weather in Texas for once. There we go. Oh, good. Glad you're okay, Grumpy. Yes, we're all glad you're okay, Grumpy. But let's not forget, a lot of people are a bit displaced right now from all the uh, storm damage. So hope hopefully everyone, uh, basically in my hometown, is okay. They hit right over uh, Sarasota, Fort Myers, Cape Coral, all that. So... Naples. I was originally from Naples, so that's, that's uh, crazy. All right. Oh, or y'all could do a Chima watch party. Oh, no, that would be bad, too. Oh, dear. Well, Lamb, you should stop saying these things before we have a, uh, a, a epiphany and decide to do them. All right, let's see here. Nice here in the Bay Area. Yep, I'm sure it is, Jolly Joe. I've, I've heard it's nice weather in California. I was only worried about my Lego room since there's loads of windows in it. Oh, yeah, that'd be a problem. But yeah, so we've got a ton of cool castle figures. I particularly like this first row with the old school ones. 
But um, they're all pretty awesome. The Foresters are nice. The Wolf Pack, looking pretty fabulous. And Nexus, uh, Daniel is working on them, but not very fast. So, I mean, you could probably get on them for that. Uh, Grumpy J says, I was only worried... Uh, oh, yeah, the Liga Room. Naples got wiped out. Yep, that's that's what I heard. Malister says, America! Good to see you, Malister. Yeah, look at all the cast figures. I mean, it's kind of insane. There's like a um, hundred, couple hundred figures here. Pretty awesome. Yeah, my brother-in-laws live in Naples. Yeah, Naples, Florida got, got demolished. So, Aiden says, hi from Handley High School. Also, do y'all want two trash bags filled with Lego? I mean, yeah, well, we'll take it. You could probably get some store credit for it, Aiden. Go ahead and uh, look up our buy and trade form on our website and see what you can get, Aiden. That's pretty cool. Corey is in the chat. He says, hi, good to see you, Corey. Let's see. Wow, the comments are flooding in. Do it, do it, says Willem. No, we are not going to watch next night. But we will look at Lord of the Rings since people were asking about it. So. Quite a few certified complete sets in here right now. It's worth showing off. Who doesn't, Aiden? There you go. Wasn't going to bring that up, but it, since... <laughs> Did Daniel need to get on it? Yeah, Daniel was working on cast figures. He specifically mentioned uh, the the people in the chat who were giving him a hard time about it. But you know, he needs a little bit of a uh, motivation to keep going. That's good. So. Hey, Mark, can I ask you a question? Yes. What section does this go in? Oh, that's pretty cool. What is that? Is that is that a Star Wars? Minecraft. That, yeah, that, I bet you'd fit in Minecraft. What's the price on that one? Two, Two ninety nine. So three hundred and oh, in the instructions, nice. And that is a Star Wars. I was right. It is it's good. Star Wars? Yeah, it's right. good. Very cool. All right. So for those who are asking about gunships, we have one that's going out to the Star Wars section as we speak. It's a pretty awesome. Those glorious Wolfpack members. Corey says, I'm buying bulk Lego from someone who worked with you at Lego Masters and says, hello, I'd rather not dox him here. <laughs> there you go, Corey. That's awesome. Let's see, BJ is giving us a wave. Good to see you, BJ. Hit the like button. That's absolutely right, Geology Joe. If you guys get to 40 likes, I'll put on the next tonight armor. I know it's a lot of our uh, more um, noisy and rebellious chat members love to see that. So, Sorry, it's almost like I have other jobs here besides just castle figs. Oh, poor Daniel. I heard the 2023 Lord of the Rings sets are just going to be lame brickheads. Sad panda. Oh, that, that could be, Malister. I'm a little bit worried. Star Conflict? <laughs> Star Wars. That's great. I know I'm coming down soon. I got uh, Probe Droid, also Bad Batch Shuttle. There you go, Aiden. You can trade those in. Mark, it looked like Steven is going to win the minifigure battle. Your thoughts? I think that looks like a safe call. Steven did a pretty solid minifigure and scene. Um, Joe has a wild minifigure. Angie has a nice scene, but her figure gets a little bit hidden in it. So there's, there's some weaknesses there, but we'll see. We'll see. Could always just change in a, a dozen comments later. Somebody else wins. So. Wait a second, Chris. It and not in shorts. Is it? It's not that cold yet. I know, right? So we're we're ready for the cold weather. So we're all dressing a little bit warmer just in case. And so it's not really that cold out. It's probably like 70s, 80s here in Georgia. But we're just ready for cold weather. You know what I'm saying? Tell Chris I've got some rocks. There you go. <laughs> I'll let him know. Do we have an ATAT? Asks Aiden. We'll check on that. Jerry Houston dropping the Chris emoji, absolutely. Don't worry, Daniel. The job will get done one day, maybe 10 months from now. There you go. Grumpy J dropping the Mark emoji, the 100% emoji, the heart with an arrow, and Nixonites. No, 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 no. We're not going there. I do not love Nixonites. That's ridiculous. I despise Nixonites. All right, so we've seen Lord of the Rings. What were the other requests that we had here? ATAT. -AT. We'll look for ATAT. -AT. See Tarkor in the house. Good to see a Tarkor with the dab emoji. Love it. Edwin's here as well. Thank you all for joining us today. Let's go around to Star Wars and look for ATAT. -AT. I voted for Angie. Gro uh, go Grumpy A. There you go. Oh. There is an ATAT. -AT. There's one version of the ATAT. -AT. Very nice. What? This is a little bit older, so let's see what price we've got on it. Uh, 300. 300 for a sealed one. Very nice. We've had older ones in the past. Wait, the newer one? Oh, it's tucked away. Wow, we've got a lot of Star Wars. Yeah. That one is 169, so much more affordable, about the same size. So 
Pretty awesome. Let's see what we've got here. A couple more comments to read through. Good grief. Okay. Hello from South Carolina. Made the four-hour drive to check out the store two weeks ago. There you go, Marks. Or Marks, 6.2. Oh, it won't be that long. Haha, <laughs> my goal is still the end of the year. <laughs> there you go. There you go, Daniel. How much is the half-complete marketplace modular y'all have? Ooh. Let's go look at that. That's a good question, Corey. It's over here. And somebody was asking about modulars earlier. We can at least uh, cover those that we're talking about. I know we've got one bookshop right here. I believe it's sealed. And the price is going to be 200 which is probably not far off of retail. And uh, Chris is actually pricing a built fire brigade. And that one is $600, $599.99. So that's pretty awesome. Looks like it has the figures, too. There is a partial of a um, Market Street set here. That was one of the earlier modulars. Very, very collectible and hard to find. Ooh, and we have a green grocer over there too. So this one is 450, which seems like a lot, but then you realize a lot of these pieces are very rare and exclusive to the set, including some of the parts in that figure, I believe. So very cool. All right, and then let's go look at, uh, we have a cafe corner up on the top shelf right there. And we have a built green grocer over here. We'll probably have to look at the top shelf while we're in this direction. So nice green grocer over there. I've had my eye on that one for a while because it's one of my favorite modulars, but it is also pretty expensive. So I decided to go for some adventurer sets instead. All righty, where were we on comments here? Okay. Daniel, for every comment, you should add two weeks to getting the figs on the website. <laughs> there you go, Malister. That's how you get it done. Uh, Robert Goodwin said, uh, just got in, and it's, I say hi to you, Mark, and everyone here on the live stream. Thanks for joining, Robert. Good to see you. Great store and great staff. Oh, thank you, Mark. Appreciate it. It is not yet cold here in Texas. That's good, Raymond. You got a few more days of warm weather, probably. No, we're not ready for cold weather. <laughs> I'm ready for cold weather, I think. Even though I typically like warm weather more. Uh, we got modulars, just did a modular tour. Grumpy Jay giving us the, the jazz hands. Really got to my Lego room, got to get my Lego room back in order. We moved three times, I'm scared to get things back out. Seems like every time I get out the Lego, I have to move. There you go. Gotta be careful about that uh, salty orange. Speed champion, says Raymond. We can go look at that. That's the spirit Malastare, says Daniel. Yeah, see, Daniel doesn't want to deal with any uh, uh, silly comments in the chat. So, oh no, don't tempt him, Malastare. And Angelo said uh, Bionicle. So let's look at Speed Champions and Bionicle. They're over in the same section. Got tons of unopened boxes to build. Oh yeah, the, the pile of shame, as some people call it. I've got one of those too, Salty Orange. It happens when you are a little bit short on time and still like to collect Lego. I will be going to Atlanta to give Lego to kids that have cancer so they can play with them. There you go, William. That's pretty awesome. I came down to Atlanta Brick, Co Atlanta Brick Company on Sunday. There you go, Edwin. I'm so glad you're able to visit. Hopefully you had a good time. Modern Mia says, I think that they make the Black Panther 2 Legos are going to be cool. Absolutely. I'm looking forward to the um, uh, ocean... What was it? The Submariner. Submariner character. He looks pretty cool. Hopefully it's a cool movie. Hopefully they're cool sets. <laughs> Dabbing on Bionicle haters by checking out Bionicle section. Absolutely. Let's go look at it. Got Speed Champions first. Bionicle's right over there. We'll check it out in a moment. There's some of the cooler, older, eight-wide sets up there. Very nice. Wait a minute. That's Tekkenek. That doesn't belong there. Oh, well. We'll let it pass this time. These are pretty brightly backlit, so hopefully you guys can even see anything. I think it's the same one as that one. But there's some cool ones in here. I do like that gray Porsche right there. That's pretty nice. Got some of the bigger size vehicles here. Steven likes these size. They're pretty cool. Stickers are also in pretty good shape too, which helps. Apparently that's a really rare windshield on that car. Should probably get that. All right. That was the Speed Champions. If any of these are interesting to you, definitely give us a call or shoot us an email or get, get in touch with us on the website. We can help you find what you're looking for. Let's see where the comments are at, at here. 
How is Steven doing on the custom ship? Uh, Captain for the Pandora. Also, how is the pirate section doing? The pirate section is actually pretty good. We put a few more pirate sets out today, so that's good. Uh, the Captain for the Pandora. I don't think he started working on it yet, but he'll be starting again on Thursday midday. So he should be giving us some progress for that. So I just got my McDonald's set in the mail today. Tell Joe thanks for getting it to me so fast. Absolutely, Nexus. It's a nice small size, so it's easy to ship. It's like a Happy Meal. One day the brick gods will favor me and I'll get me that detective's office. There you go, Grumpy J, one day. One day you'll find one at a yard sale. They'll want $5 for it and boom, you'll be in luck. Bionicle 2023 gift with purchase rumor. Absolutely, I saw that. My friend uh, on Hill, who's a Bionicle fan, was sharing that with me and some friends and that looks pretty cool. I think it's gonna be system with some joints and stuff. And I think it's gonna be cool, but it might not be actual Bionicle pieces since apparently, according to some rumors, that they've stopped making those pieces. So we'll see. All I know is Bionicle is cool. It deserves to be recognized as the awesome fan community that it has. So yeah, hopefully that set turns out pretty cool. Let's see. Scroll down, tell Ethan hi for me. I will tell him Nexus, absolutely. Grumpy, the detective's office is a great set. I bought that one new years ago. How much is the Barracuda Bay up to these days? Oh, we can go check on that for you, Andrew. Hold on a second. Lucky Geo. Joe says Grumpy J. Yeah, that, I mean, the best time to buy a Lego set is when it's brand new. Because once it retires, it will actually climb in value, which is sad for us who want to get them afterwards. Um, Nexus to Zach said hi, Ethan. And he probably would say hi to Joe, too, if he made that face. <laughs> Let's see. There was another question. How much is the Barracuda Bay up to these days? What's the price of that? 400 That sounds not too bad. Anyone want to do a D&D campaign in the Lego Castle universe? That sounds really exciting, Malatzer. One day I want to do that here at the store. I think that would be something fun to document. Brick Virus says, hello, Mark. Good to see you, Brick Virus. Hope you're doing well over in Greece. 400 for Baron Kujo. Be true. It's hard to say. I think they're the same source that um, was talking about the uh, one. So they are either all accurate or they're all inaccurate, which is. They better all be accurate. Which would be very bad. Now, from what I gather, this source has also been pretty accurate before. So it should be good, but I don't know. It's for no for sure. We'll talk more about it on the morning brick tomorrow morning at 9.30 Eastern time here on the channel, another live stream that you guys definitely want to tune into. Let's see. Raymond says, Mark, is Angie still at work? I think she's, she's still here. I'll see, we'll go say hi to Angie real quick. She's, she's pretty popular. Let's see. What else are the comments here? Hello, Brick Virus is Nexus. There's Angie. She's still here, although a couple of us have left already. And Chris is over here too, if anyone was interested. I'm sure Brick Virus would say hi. Hi there. Hey, Brick Virus. Yep. They wanted to say hi to you guys, so. They're busy working, all sorts of things, so. It's a nice, quiet day in the store today. We're getting lots of stuff done and stuff put online, barcodes added, all sorts of crazy stuff. I see Vogan on. Hopefully, it's all over there. That's Oshibu. He's on the third step, so he should be fine. It says, hope everyone is having a good day. Uh, thank you, Build. I mean, we hope you're having a good day, too. There's Bogan on the ladder. He's working on Star Wars. You're adding barcodes, right? Sweet. Efficient checkouts. Yes. That is the, that's the, the, one of the biggest concerns of our store is making sure we can check out people quickly and not have them wait. So Bogan is doing a great job. Let's see here. Oh, Dawson is here. He was asking about Battle Brick and Brick Mania. We can go look at that. Do you have a Lego Titanic? We haven't gotten one in yet, uh, Connor. We hope to get one in one day, but right now we don't. Thank you for asking, though. Uh, let's see. Oh, and Dawson's like, hey, guys. Yep, Dawson's here. Aftermarket prices could be crazy for Lego. Yep, that's why we exist. All right, so. 
And Grumpy, it was the first big set I bought after my Dark Ages that ended around 2015. There you go. Michael says, do you have Lord of the Rings minifigures? Yes, we actually looked at Lord of the Rings earlier, but we can glance at it really quick before we go check out some other stuff. Angie needs her own emoji. Yes, she does. Steven's getting his next because he has his own live stream, but Angie will be shortly the and Randy and other characters. Uh, here's the Lord of the Rings for the Mar. Also, a little collectible, expensive. Some are maybe even more. So, as old as a middle school. Uh, let's see. Let's talk about Punisher and then go check out Battle Brick and Brick Mania. Can't take Chris serious with pants on instead of shorts. <laughs> I'll let him know he said that next. So, Chris, they can't sleep when you're wearing jeans, you know. Yeah, we got to be ready in case the temp drops again. That's what I'm saying. Some people are going to a heavy metal concert tonight. Exactly. So you got to wear jeans. That, that could be, you know, concerts, it gets a little cooler out. You want to be warm. Yeah, I get it. Daniel and I. Yeah, I was going to be going, but I, I, I can't anymore because I got, I got stuff I got to film at home. Uh, let's see. Say hi to Vogan and Joe. He doesn't get much love today. Exactly. There you go. Vogan and Joe. The two amigos. Yeah, <laughs> Joe gets enough love. Yeah, yeah. Vogan, never enough. Yeah. There you go. Edwin says, somebody had a Lego Titanic. I saw a video of it. You put it in the water and made it like the real Titanic. It's sink. It's sunk. Yes. There we go. That's tragic. SpongeBob figs. We can look at SpongeBob. But let's check out uh, Battle Brick and Brick Mania for Dawn Fulgrim really quick. Via DM, I got you, Mark. If you want a Lego themed D&D campaign, hey, sorry, we might, we might have to work something out someday. I know I'm pretty busy right now. For example, I had to miss the cool metal concert, but uh, we'll work something out one day when we have plenty of time. So we got some cool. Brickmania kits here. Got Star Trek Bridge. I, this is my favorite one. That's pretty cool. That's awesome. And you got a couple other ones here. This is a very nice Blade Runner set too. Let's get a quick look at Brickmania in this case right here. You can see all the tanks, minifigures. We're almost out of Juggernaut figures, so we need some more of those. So a whole bunch of cool ones here. All available on atlbrick.com. Just type in Battle Brick or Military and it should come right up. Let's see, immediately sold out. This is Geology Joe. Absolutely. Michael says, thank you. You're welcome, Michael. Thank you for asking about them. Doing good today. My back is doing good. Oh, that's good, Dawson. Hopefully your back feels good. What do you think about the 350 Wakanda set? Oh, yeah, the big uh, Black Panther bust, right, with the cool pose? I think it's cool. It is a little bit expensive, but it is massive and cool looking. So it's kind of like if you're a big fan of the show, I could see somebody totally buying that. But if you're kind of like a, only a casual fan of Marvel and Black Panther, it might be a pass. I don't know. I can think of other sets that I'd want in the $350 range, like the <clears throat> 90th Anniversary Castle, which is pretty awesome. So, Ooh, I like that uh, waterfall. That's nice. Did you say Pirates was stocked earlier? Yep, we got some Pirates. We can go look at that, Andrew. Oh, hold on. Let's see. Mark, did you forget to put that out? I forgot to put these out. Look, it's the Temple of the Crystal Skull. Very nice. That's $300 for a certified complete one. And we've got the Indiana Jones and the Lost Tomb set. I actually owned this one as a kid, and it's a beautiful set. Has some great figures and pieces, lots of snakes, and the Ark of the Covenant. I mean, that's just fabulous. So, so that one is $100. And then over here, this is what we were talking about, Pirates. Set number 6279. Does anyone know the, the set name of this one? Because it has that cool skull hideout. Anyway, it's got some red coats. It's got some pirates. It's got a treasure map and some treasure. It's got the uh, red beard up there. Very nice. You've got a little pirate outpost. Very nice. And you've got a little pirate gun. Three great sets. So those will be going out soon. Skull Island, Mark. Skull Island. There you go. Thank you, Daniel. 
Daniel is back working on the computer, and he heard me talking about it, so. It's nice to have an info guy to check questions with. <laughs> Let's info see. Guy who's sitting at a computer with Bricklink open. Yeah, oh yeah, exactly. If you have a Bricklink page open at the same time, it's great. I mean, what? I do that off the top of my head. Yeah, yeah. No, Daniel knows pirates like the back of his hand. It's good. All right. CMF Figs 2. Yes, we can look at that here. Willam says, Mark, I think that you are dating Nexo Knights. Just joking. Oh, no, Willam. I don't. <laughs> That's preposterous. Ridiculous. You know what? We haven't talked about Daniel yet. Hi, Daniel. There you go, Brick Virus. You can talk to Daniel. He's in the chat. So, Do you have any Lord of the Rings sets? We have a couple of them. We already checked them, I think, twice today. So if you want to scroll back, you can see them. What was I going to look at next? Uh, CMFs. And let's do the top row really quick, too. Over here. Mark, do you own any Chinese New Year sets? I think I own parts of them, but not a complete one. The pieces are amazing. But I'm not too connected to Chinese culture, so I don't have any. But uh, I, I will, I will, if I, did, I'm not going to turn down those awesome pieces, though. They are some of the coolest sets around, for sure. So why no whatnot? What, how else am I supposed to spend my allowance? <laughs> well, Grumpy J, we will be doing some awesome stuff on whatnot, but not for a little while. We're trying to work out all the details. Uh, I've been trying to convince Daniel to call the show Daniel's Delights. But he's not really sold on the name, so if you have any advice or suggestions, please let us know in the chat. But uh, we're, we're working on it. Well, it'll be awesome once it's done. We're probably trying a little bit less rigid sell, sell, sell schedule and more of a, a little bit of more of a talk show, a little more fun interaction. We'll see. Oh, got to go. Thanks, Mark. Bye, everyone. See you, Geology Joe. Thank you for joining us. Let's see. Daniel's slacking again. Uh-huh. No whatnot. Come on. <laughs> Nexus always giving Daniel a hard time. I love that Jurassic uh, T-Rex breakout set. That's pretty awesome. You got the Mandalorian Starfighter with the pre-Vizsla figure in it. That's pretty fa fabulous as well. You got the Naboo sub, or Gungan sub, I should say, not Naboo. You got the old at, -AT the motorized one. You got the roller coaster. You got the Diagon Alley. Ferris Wheel, Sydney Opera House, Cafe Corner, and some model team over on the end, too. Very nice. All right, well, let's see where the comments are. They're always going crazy today. It's been awesome. Uh, Dawson's heading out. Bye. Bye, Mark. Hope you're having a good day today at work. Thank you, Dawson. I hope you have a good day wherever you may be. Got to come to the store today because I had to go to the orthodontist. There you go, Josiah. Glad you are able to visit. How much are those sets? Oh, uh, which ones, Jonathan? You're going to have to specify. I just looked at a lot of them. Ugh, red coats, though. Not OG blue coats. Yep. <laughs> Has anyone seen the dream face reveal? Oh, no. I've seen it. You've seen it? Yeah. Was it good? It was interesting. He was, he was holding his head to the side the whole time. Oh, maybe he's got, like, a huge growth on the other side of his head. He doesn't want anyone to see. I don't know. That's, that's interesting. What kind of Lego Lego jewelry do y'all have? My wife used to make some of the while back, and now she was thinking of getting back into it. We've got some over here for you, Salty Orange. Might give you some ideas for creating your own stuff, or even if you want to get a few, they're not too expensive. That's a very interesting question. I don't think anyone's ever asked about it before. We got our Blings collection. You can wear some scorpions, spiders. We've got some skull heads. We've got little stud earrings. Very nice. You have skulls. A lot of our spooky stuff out right now because it's Halloween. You got the basic 2 by 4 around a necklace. That's pretty cool. Even some metal or shiny studs on them, too. That's pretty cool. You've got a bunch of scorpions. You've got some dots bracelets for sale back here. You've got some heart necklaces. These are really popular. They're very cool. You got some frozen snowflake uh, necklace pendant here. Got some snowflake earrings here. Randy handmade most of these earrings. So if you see anything, looks cool. We got them. They're very nice. All right. Let's see where the comments are at. I'm probably very behind. Mark and Macy sitting in a tree. Wait, no, no, no stop it. We're not going there. We're going to elves now. You lost your next night's privileges. We're going to talk about elves for a second. 
Brickside Brick with Daniel. I like that monster. That's a good one. I'll, I'll suggest that to him. How much were those sets on Lego Pirates ones, the small ones where you showed? Oh, I'll read it out the prices again, Jonathan. Good uh, question. The price tags are so vivid orange, you don't really see them on the video, but this one is 30. This other small one is 30. Those two are $30 each. This one is 200. So it's pretty expensive, but it's a pretty substantial set. It has a bunch of classic figures in it. I think that makes sense for price. It also has a nice blue base plate. So. Very cool. And then $100 for Indiana Jones and $300 for the big Indiana Jones. So Those should all be on the website, too, if I'm not mistaken. Not yet? Joe can add them if anyone's interested. We will be adding them shortly. So. How much were the... Oh, I got that one. S Spartan Happy says, hello. Good to see you, Spartan. Thank you for joining us. Whenever I say Spartan, I think of Halo. Or uh, classical Greece. Talking studs with Daniel. <laughs> I like it. Of course, Vogan saw the face reveal. <laughs> Ooh, look at these mini sets up here. I like this. It's cool. Let's see. So, guys, we... What do you think about Hugh Jackman returning as Wolverine? Oh, I think that's a pretty fun idea. I, oh my goodness, this could be fun to watch. Hopefully it's on Disney Plus so I can watch it. Do you have any custom weapons? We do, Michael. Let's go look at the custom weapons. That's a good request. Randy is a hip chick. There you go. I'll let her know you said that, Grumpy J. Let's see. Over here, we've got some custom brick arms accessories. Like, there's a really cool flamethrower right there. That's pretty awesome. Got some, um, you know, World War II helmets and weapons here. You've got robot arms you can really customize your droids with. Those are awesome. A lot of World War II, quite a bit of uh, Star Wars and modern tactical stuff, too. So quite a few little custom weapons for all sorts of little accessories and minifigures. These are cool because you got the transparent ones. I love those. Yeah. Very fun. These are all available on our website, atlbrick.com. Just look up Brick Arms, and you can find them. And we also have some Big Kid Bricks custom lightsabers and other pieces. We'll go look at those really quick. Let's head over there. Past the... Stuff. Oh, I think Grumpy J asked about SpongeBob minifigs. We were pretty low on them, but we can look. These are some of the custom accessories that we have for sale in the store, too. You have lightsaber hilts and handles. You even got a cape in there, too. A couple of blasters, like some iconic Star Wars blasters. So very nice. Is Grant on duty today? Duty means... <laughs> but is Grant at the store? Uh, yeah, so Grant should be here tonight, I think. Or not. He might be playing basketball. But, yeah. Will, Lamb, and Grumpy taunt Mark about Nexo. I taunt Daniel about getting Casafigs up. There you go. What's the worst minifig? Hmm. Let me think about that. Worst minifigure. Worst minifigure. Let's see here. What is the worst minifigure? Hmm. It's got to be here somewhere. I mean, we're in the right section. I can feel it. Let's see. Hold on. Oh, there he is. That's the worst minifigure ever. Nexo Knight characters are the worst minifigures. You heard it here first, folks. Edwin and I both pointed out the worst minifigures. They're, they're in here. I think it's Robin. I think that's his name, right? That little, little brat. All right. Let's see here. Did I just see an army builder bags that you just went past on the shelf? Army builder bags? Um, maybe. Which uh, which shelf was that, Jonathan? You might have to clarify. Oh, and uh, Daniel said, uh, good suggestions. Think less talk show and more game show, though. Yeah, exactly. More and more uh, giveaways and uh, buying and fun facts and stuff like that. It'll be great. Maybe even, like, trivia-based. We'll see. Wheel of Misprints. <laughs> that would be funny. Oh, look, there's a handsome guy over there. It's cool. 
All right. All the minifigures are on the website or on... Or are there are some that are only on the shelves. Greetings from Ecuador. Yep, they should all be on the website. Like, even the animals, all those should be on atlbrick.com. If they're not on there, we're adding them as quickly as possible. We have several people who work there full-time just adding figures, so... Daniel and Lego. Another good idea. Wheel of Bricks. Danny the Lego Maniac. I like that. Lego Maniac just sounds great to me, but it might be a little bit much. So Angie's been working on the series figures down here. I think she's gotten the first three series done and added back. So some of them are restocked. Some of them still have yet to be restocked. There's that Spartan we were thinking about. Lots of cool collectible figures, for sure. And all the er early series ones can be a little expensive, too. Like that elf is $30, but then the race car driver is only $7.99. Not too bad. Worst minifigures are the Angry Birds. I think the Minions might have something to say about that, too. Uh, no, I like you like the Minions better than Angry Birds? What? Actually, no, you can throw the Angry Birds in there. That's true. <laughs> All right. Oh, man, that, that was harsh. This next is to Zach. <laughs> the worst minifigure is the original Saboba from Star Wars. What? Saboba. Oh, no, that's cool. That's I think he's kind of, like, retro cool. I don't know. The I worst could... figure is that one girl from Jurassic Park. What's her name? Claire? No. The, the, old, the old one. The purple hair. Oh, Laura Dern? I don't know. What's her actual name? Admiral Holdo? Yes. Worst Star oh. Wars figure. Oh, yeah, she's, she's not the most interesting character. They tried to give her purple hair and it didn't do much. Oh, it was terrible. Oh, I forgot that was the girl from Yeah. Wow, dude, you, you just totally forgot about that. That's crazy. Yeah, what about Jar Jar, guys? Yeah, Vogan's pointing out Jar Jar. Jar Jar's a legend. Jar we like Jar Jar. What do you guys think? Angry Birds or Minions? He's a Sith Lord. In the Clone Wars, he redeems himself? No, he's a Sith Lord. We saw his lightsaber for like half a second. Yep. And his eyes are always yellow, so he's a Sith Lord. Exactly. The worst might be those Fabuland minifigures. Let's go look at Fabuland. I, Fabuland are pretty cursed looking. Let's go look at that. Mario figs are the worst? Yeah, they're pretty bad too. But they are very play feature oriented, so you never know. The Army Builder bags, they're by the, the Brick Arms weapons. Oh yeah, we have a little Army Builder pack. It has a couple soldier minifigures that, that you equip with lots of weapons. So we'll go over there and check them out in a second. Ideas for Daniel's uh, whatnot show. Daniel's Deep Dive sounds cool. I like that show. It has to be something with Daniel in it, because Steven has the... Deadpool is cool. But a little weird too. So. They're terrifying. A little terrifying. Not gonna lie. It's like, like looking at Mark. Oh, was that Ethan? Is Ethan? Who who did that? Oh man. That's all I got. Let's see. There were some packs here. Rex. We did have some. army building packs. You said they were by the brick arms. So. I know we got some classic city down here. We got like spaceport and coast guard figures. We've got these cool custom kits we made. The uh, shroomkin. We've got the Ed's claw rings. Video is going down. Oh no. Maybe Joe might have more votes if he used Fabuland. Exactly. That's a nexus to Zach. I like it. Army Builder bags. Um, we have the tires down here. I don't know if we have Army Builder bag. Could be wrong. We used to have these packs, not unlike these Brickonado kits. We had an Army figure and some accessories, but I'm not seeing them here now. And then these up here. Oh, video is glitchy. Uh-oh. Looks good on my end. Sorry about that, guys. Hopefully it uh, clears up for us. We've also got the very past few minutes. Sorry, guys. 
we've got these key chain lights here. And I'm going to move in super slow motion. Yeah, the minifigure army builder bags. There you go. Oh, if you're thinking about these, they're uh, little mini soldiers. So they look like little army men. Let's make a set. The floor is Lego. Who, who wants to be a Lego master? <laughs> there you go. Oh, my goodness. All right. Somebody asked earlier if there was going to be a Punisher Lego minifigure. I think there was one in the um, uh, the Daily Bugle. But we'll have to ask Vogan and see if he's got any Punisher minifigures that he's restocked. I see some cool ones in here. I'll be back, says Brick Virus. We'll see you later. Those keychain lights are awesome. I bought three for gifts. Yes, they are very good for gifts, T Valkyrie. We also got our awesome pick a brick table. You can fill up a bucket for $30. That's a good gift. Give the gift of Lego this season. Those castle figures are not out with Daniel now. That's a good name. There you go. Ooh. Pirate says the name Indiana Jones is now online at atlbrick.com. Did Grant and Vogan not do a random Saturday video? No, they do it randomly every Saturday or two or three, whenever they want to. So, yeah. We're both students still, so it's, it's kind of hard yeah. to... Grant got more basketball, Vogan got more school, Grant got more school, Vogan... What, do you, what sports do you play, Vogan? Gym life? Gym. Yeah. He plays gym. He plays gym. He, he definitely likes to get us gymmed in the, the, the chat that we have, so... <laughs> Ever been gymmed by Vogan? It's not fun. <laughs> We've been gymmed a few times, if you know what that means. Because we know. The Tumblr, yeah. <laughs> got the Tumblr, we got this very nice Lego Express. I don't know if Corey's still watching, but this is definitely what he likes to watch. Lego trains. I got some train stuff over here. Got these raised base plates down here. They're available on our website, atipark.com. Got a few power functions in here, nothing crazy. A couple battery packs, a couple motors. They should be available on the website too. A few more trains for Corey and train fans everywhere. Looking good. And then someone, I think it was Ryan, said, that tumbler looks sweet. Let's get ready to brick. That could be a good title for the uh, the show, too. Yeah, we definitely need show titles for Daniel. I still like Daniel's Delights, but he doesn't like that, so. It might be, I don't know, taken out of context. Yeah. Daniel's Delights. Uh, no, no, okay, okay. Oh, well. So there's that gunship we were talking about earlier, too. Ready to be put up for sale. We need a little bit of space in the case, I imagine. Got $300. How about it's break time? Oh, I like break time. That's a nice. Did you show brickheads yet? I didn't, Robert. We can go look at those. Because I got to show off how cool they look. 33 likes. Yep, we need seven more, guys. Oh, excuse me. So here's the beginning of our brickhead section. You've got a whole bunch of, got Frankenstein. You got Captain Salazar. You've got the Easter Bunny. Dragon Dance Guy. This is actually one of the coolest brickheads, if you ask me. He's cool looking. Love that outfit. You've got the Honey Bee. You've got Star Wars, lots of Star Wars. Looking very nice. Oh, look at that. There's Voldemort and his snake. You got uh, Grand Moff Tarkin, looking very cool. Daniel's Dandelions and Delights. There you go. <laughs> I don't think that will fly. That ain't going to work. No castle figures now. Let's do that game show name. There you go. 
Brick time is good. Yeah, I like brick time. Mark, don't forget we want ABC uh, Castle Shield emoji sales for the three in one Viking ship. Absolutely. I will recommend that T Valkyrie. That is, uh, once Chris and Randy get a moment, I will mention that to them. <laughs> Grumpy J is definitely talking about Daniel's dandelion delights. I will put you in timeout. Don't test it. <laughs> yep, Daniel has mod powers. You better watch out. Honey, I shrunk the bricks. There you go. He who must not be named talk time. Oh, yeah. Daniel talk time. Uh, let's see. We've got Marvel brickheads. Ooh, look, Aquaman. He looks great. Some Disney down there and some other themes as well. And we also got a Helm's Deep and some architecture making their appearance. Very nice. Top bricks. I like top bricks. That's cool. This week on Top Bricks, we have giveaways. Contest, spin the wheel. Love it. Mark, I got a big money idea. We split 50-50 customs, breaking, Brad, breaking Bad sets only in ABC. There you go. I'll mention it to Chris. He will probably say no, but we could try. Here's the architecture section looking really good. Yo, it's Lemur Bricks. Where's Lemur Bricks? Able to join for a few minutes. There you go, Lemur Bricks. Good to see you. Hope school is going well for you. Breaking bad. Oh, man. If that isn't taken, Daniel, I hope you're listening. That's that's a really good idea, Morgan. Pirates of the Brickmaster. Mark, what's your favorite Nexo Knight set? What? That's random, but all right. I'll, I'll, I'll play along. Will Lamb. Will Lamb. You're my, my family. So let's see. Hmm. This is pretty cool. Did we still have it? No, I don't think we still have my favorite one. This one's pretty good too. I like the flaming guy, Moltor. What is this? What the heck is this? What is, it's a Nexonite shield carrying case. This is stupid. All right. That's stupid. Hold on. Are all these sets stupid, or is it just me? I think all the next night sets are terrible. Hold on. Hold on, hold on. Nope. Ugh. Ugh. Look at... Ugh. What is going on in this? This is... Ugh. Eh, it's, the drills are kind of cool, I guess. Man. Nope. No, they're they're horrible guys. I don't have a favorite. I can't. Building bad. I like that one too. Building bad or breaking bad. Building bad just sounds bad though. Daniel's breakdown. I like that too. Oh, what's the question for Liam Bricks? Let's see. Do you have Newt Scamander Brickhead? That's a good question, Liam Bricks. Let's go look at that real quick here. Nope, there's Owen. We don't have any Harry Potter. Oh, there's some Harry Potter. Got plenty of Ron Weasleys. Don't see any Newt Scamander, though. Let's see. Maybe he's in a box. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'd be surprised if we didn't have Newt, but maybe we don't. I don't see him. Huh. I don't seem to see him, uh, Lemur Bricks, but you could always look on atailbrick.com and do a quick search just to make sure. He might be hiding in here and I'm just missing him. See where the comments are at here. Pulp, bricks, and studs. There you go. N not just you, LOL. <laughs> Danielle's another brick in the wall. There you go. And now another episode of Mark's Mishap. <laughs> We're not calling the show that. We could, well, that'd be funny if I started titling the store tours that. That'd be funny. Any Frank Lloyd Wright in architecture? That's a good question, T. Valkyrie. Let's go look at that. I'm pretty sure a Falling Water is a Frank Lloyd Wright um, design. 
And the Farnsworth house is too, if I'm not mistaken. However, I don't see it on it. No. There's another Villa Savoy. I'm probably butchering the name. It's in the back there. I think we have one up here too. Yeah, that one as well. Does it say Frank Lloyd Wright anywhere? I don't see it. That one definitely looks like Frank Lloyd Wright though. So there's a couple options for you. <laughs> Message deleted by Double King. Oh no. Any Frank Lloyd Wright in architecture? We got that. If you build it, Danny will come. There you go. I Dream of Bricks theme song from I Dream of G Genie. That would be hilarious. Daniel's needy nonsense. <laughs> oh no. We're not calling it that. Edwin says, Ghostbusters. Let's go look at Ghostbusters, Edwin. That's a good request. Let's see if we got any Ghostbusters figures in the license section. There's a couple back there. I see Vengeman. Some of the other characters. There's the new wave of Ghostbusters as well. There's Beneath them is the Seinfeld characters. And some of the, uh, the Beatles. You've got some of the Friends Cafe and apartment set figures. So very cool. Daniel should go on Lego Master Season 4. He would probably, he would win probably. I would definitely like to watch Daniel on Lego Masters. I think he might have a little bit of trouble if he, has, uh, if he hasn't found a great partner yet. That's one of the most important things is having a good partner. Daniel's, it'll be ready when it's ready starting this fall on Fox. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Oh, Nexus to Zach says, any Pharaoh's Quest, Mark? Let's go look for Pharaoh's Quest. We have three more minutes. We're going to check it out. Mark, do you do your strange face from Lego Masters? All right, hold on. Ready? There it was. You missed it. All right. We're good. Ooh, ooh. Grumpy Jake is the funniest answer of the day. There you go, Double uh, King. That's Daniel. Particularly the Anubis Jackals. Let me look at them here. Hold on. I, I sense a disturbance in the force. Boo. Ooh. Creepy. I see what I get to work with. This harassment. Mind. Harassment. That's harassment from... Are you Darth Garth? In Joe's, Joe's clothes? Oh, it's Darth Garth. Oh, my goodness. All right. What was it looking for? Pharaoh's Quest. Pharaoh's Quest. Yes. Did we get over to Pirates? We are now, Andrew. We could look at Pirates, too. I don't think I see a lot of Pharaoh's Quests to talk about. You got some of the old Purple Box Pirate sets. I think you have a little raft back there. You've got a, a couple, like a multi-pack set in there. I like that special price cannonball. That's pretty cool. You've got the Islander Catamaran there. You got a couple small pirate sets tucked away in there. You got a big built pirate set over here. And I'm not seeing any Pharaoh's Quest right now. I could be mistaken. Let me double check. Yeah, I'm not seeing any Pharaoh's Quest builds or sets. And I also don't see a lot of the figures. We have quite a few adventurers figures, but I'm not seeing a lot of um, Pharaoh's Quest. I don't think we ever really had a large selection of them, so. Aqua Teen Daniel? Wait, what? <laughs> Darth Garth is back, baby. Absolutely. Daniel's ca catchphrase on the show, it will be ready when it's ready. Exactly. <laughs> How much is the VIP pack? Oh, that's a good question. It is $14.99. $14.99. It's a good bundle of pieces. Time Cruisers or Time Twisters? I like Time Cruisers, but Time Twisters are cool, too. All we are is bricks in the wind. That's it. I'm calling 911 for harassment, Darth Garth. Exactly. I'm so disappointed. Well, those were some wonderful ideas for Daniel's Whatnot Show, which will not be happening tonight. It'll be, hopefully, have something cool for you guys next week, next Tuesday. We'll also be doing another live store tour next Friday, Tuesday, Friday, forever after that. So we'll see you guys then if you're able to make it. Uh, don't forget to tune in tomorrow morning at 9.30 to the morning brick. Should be a lot of fun. We also have the Joy of Building at Thursdays at 6.30. Joe knows all about that. He'll be talking to you guys then. And uh, so many more cool videos. Lego Masters, uh, minifig battles, all sorts of great stuff. So we'll see you.
Yeah, Joe says go vote for him. So check out that latest one. I went unique for you guys. Exactly. He made a wild figure just for you guys. So. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. There you go. BJ giving us a wave. Morgan says see ya. Thank you for watching, everybody. Oh, the Daniel Zone. I love it, Brickfires. One last great request. All right.